called a rabbi. He says, Rabbi, my wife wants to poison me. He says, really? I found in the tea. She makes me tea in the morning. I found poison. Mm. The rabbi says, I got to talk to her. He says, here is her cell. The rabbi talks to her. Drew calls him back next day. He says, no, the rabbi says, I spoke to, her for, I spoke to your wife for four hours. If I were you, I would drink it. <laughs> so Drew's... That's what Rabbi Kanelsky meant when he spoke about the power of the Jewish woman. So I, it's just a joke. Relax. Relax. I love women. I love women. I even married a woman. It's, not, it's a big thing today. Don't underestimate it. Don't underestimate it. Not only that, my mother is a woman. My grandmother was a woman. My great-grandmother, all the way back to Eve. And then the apes and the monkeys, I don't know what they were. So my friends, you understand what I'm telling you. People quetch. People love... The other day I was in a kosher restaurant. The waiter was going from table to table and he was asking one question. Is anything all right? So Jews complain. They love complaining. And they love complaining more. You ever see Jews on an airplane? You know, I don't go anymore with the Jews on an airplane. You know that? I used to go with Jews. Today I only go with Goyim on an airplane. Not because I don't love Jews. I love Jews. I told you. My father was Jewish. My mother is Jewish. I even married a Jewish girl. My kids are half Jewish. I mean, my kids are Jewish. But not to fly. Not to fly. You know why? Because they don't sit down. You ever see Jews on an airplane? They don't sit down. You remember Tower Air? There was an airline tower. All of Shalom. I say Kaddish for it every year, but I'm very happy. So New Year's, Hanukkah time, we once landed in Tel Aviv. So the captain gets up and he says, to all those who are sitting, Happy New Year. To all those who are standing, Happy Hanukkah. That's how it is. You ever see Gentiles on airplanes? They walk in four hours before. They sit down and they sit like this, like Marines. And they don't come with baggage. They read those magazines in the seats. You ever read those? Jews don't read those magazines. But Gentiles read them. You ever see Jews, the first one, they come late. And they come with peklak, with, with baggage and suitcase. They're flying to Montreal, for heaven's sake. It's an hour flight. They come with baggage. And they open up every compartment. They go back and forth. Boom, 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 boom. And finally, after two hours, the flight attendant starts screaming at him and says, sit down, the whole flight is waiting for you. And he turns to his wife and says, she's an anti-Semite. <laughs> the Holocaust is not going to happen again. I will not listen to her. And then he says, I forgot my food. They open up, they all bring food. They bring sushi and hard-boiled eggs and sponge cake and polkas. They bring polkas of chicken. That's what they bring. And they all bring nine books. It's an hour flight, but they have nine books. I say, what the hell do you need nine books for? He says, you never know what happens to airplanes these days. You never know. Look at Malaysia. Who knows where I'm going to end up? And then you finally sit down and you fall asleep and somebody says, Mincha! We need a minion, mincha, mincha.